Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Miro. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the other features in Miro that you can use to make your collaboration or your meetings in Miro much more, uh, much more exciting. Uh, and let's take a look at what you can do to to achieve this. Right. So let's say we have a board right now. Um, I'm just using my own template, which is the retrospective in the island of Colocons. Uh, and so let's say multiple people are collaborating on this retrospective. Um, now, some of the nice features that you could use uh, and some of the ones that we'll talk about today is, you know, adding emojis or, or just adding reactions. Uh, so uh, different people, depending on what is being said, can add or can add reactions and people will be able to see that. Uh, what we'll also take a look at is voting. Uh, so you could make, uh, rather than sort of asking people around, uh, you can set a timer and get people to vote on things. Uh, and so that can be quite exciting as well, um, uh, waiting for the results of, of uh, what people have voted for. And then of course, um, not all of the all of the meetings where everybody is in or where everybody is collaborating in is not every time people are talking sometimes it is uh, sometimes it is just about uh, taking a step back and uh, thinking about something just brainstorming something and that could require some quiet time during these meetings uh, and um, and so that you don't go off track uh, you know you you would also want to set a timer and in this video we'll take a look at how to set a timer as well for your uh, collaborative activities. So let's dive right in. So on the first thing that we look at is adding reactions. So let's say somebody has said something amazing and you want to celebrate it. You click on this option here and add a reaction. So I can click on this emoji to add a nice celebration reaction. I can click on a heart to add a heart symbol. Uh, and so on and so forth. I can also click on raise hand and that will make sure that uh, this little icon shows up near my profile. I can lower a hand as well. So this is useful if you are raising a hand and lowering a hand when you have a question and when you when your question is answered. So there's some useful reactions here for you to use. The second thing that we we'll look at is um, adding voting so let's say there's a few items on the board that you want to get people to get inputs on or prioritize what you do is you click on this thumb icon here this little uh, fist um, and click on this voting and here you can pretty much set uh, a new sort of voting um, session for your team so let's say vote for top activities uh, you can set the duration to how much ever time you want. You can give only one vote per person or maybe three. Um, you can also filter the number of elements that a person can click on uh, to add a vote. And so in this case, it's the whole board. But I can change this to only be the sticky notes. So you can only click on the sticky notes. Now if I click on start now, and I can click on vote now, I can see that I have one vote left. I have four uh, minutes to go and I can start voting and so on your board you would see that the plus icons are only against sticky notes so let's say if I clicked on uh, this uh, note I have now zero votes left uh, and so what I can do is I can click on done and uh, end once everybody sort of finishes their session and when the timer ends, uh, you will find the voting results. So in this case, I'm the only person. So let me click on end voting for all. And then you will see a results panel pop up on the left um, and it will process the results from everybody's you know inputs and it will show you the results. So you would have it organized based on the number of um, based on the number of votes it will organize the highest on the top and then the lowest so in this case i just voted once obviously so this is just one option here um, but it's a nice way to get what people um, 
what people are thinking and and what people are voting for or what the majority of the people are voting for I can click on the trash icon to delete this particular voting session and voting results and then close this panel now another thing what we'll look at is adding a timer so I can click on this timer button here and I can you know change it to whatever time I want so I can also click on again say like 12 minutes for example and I can pick a music so there's a few different options available uh, let me click on calm music calm flow music and then when I click on the play button the timer will start and a music will be played in the background um, now you can control the you know you can mute the music that you have uh, you can stop the timer, you can pause the timer or you can also add a minute or five minutes just by clicking this button. So I've just stopped the timer now but of course when the timer actually ends on its own uh, it will give you a ring sort of like an alarm that the timer is ended and then of course you guys can regroup. I can click on this minus button here to hide the timer. So of course using the music was optional but uh, you know the rest of the time of features are available at your disposal. So here the, the, so these were the three things that could make your collaborative, you could add it to your meetings, uh, you know all the three fe different features that you could use uh, for your meetings um, and make your meetings slightly more fun. Um, definitely give these three features a try and let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Um, if you do find, if you did find this video useful, give it a thumbs up um, and do let me know as well what you thought about this video and uh, do subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you are notified of any other videos that I post on this YouTube channel. And of course, finally, do share, do consider sharing this video with your friends, with your family, with your network whoever uh, you think this video might be useful. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in another video. Bye-bye.